Photons and Vacuum A photon is like a piece of light. It's the energy that hits a quark and make it start forming the nucleus of atoms. It is a piece of energy, is the basic unit of light, and it is responsible for all electromagnetic radiation, including radio waves, microwaves, infrared radiation, visible light, ultraviolet radiation, X-rays, and gamma rays. Photons can interact with other charged particles, but they do not have a charge themselves. They can interact with electric charges in a way that can be thought of as positive or negative, depending on the direction of the interaction, but this is a result of the electric charge of other particles, not the photon itself. Photons have no electric charge, theoretically no mass, and they travel at the speed of light. Photons are also created and an atom or molecule in an excited state releases energy in the form of light. Photons can also be created when a high-energy particle, such as an electron, collides with another particle. Photons can be absorbed, reflected, refracted, or scattered by matter, and they can also create and destroy particles. It is possible to think of a photon as a piece of pulsating light, although it should be noted that this is not the standard way of thinking about photons in physics. A photon is a quanta, or a tiny unit of light that is responsible for all electromagnetic radiation. It is the basic unit of light and it is created and an atom or molecule in an excited state releases energy in the form of light. In terms of the structure of a photon, it is not composed of smaller pieces of light. Photons are considered as elementary particles, which means they are not made up of other subparticles. While it is not possible to divide a photon into smaller pieces, it is possible to think of a photon as a small packet of electromagnetic energy that oscillates at a specific frequency. It's worth mentioning that a photon can have different polarizations, which can be thought as different directions of oscillation of its electric and magnetic field. Photons can interact with other photons and create phenomena like interference and diffraction. In summary, wave behavior is characterized by the properties of wavelength and frequency, while particle behavior is characterized by the properties of energy and momentum. These two characteristics can be observed in the same photon, depending on the circumstances of the observation. Quantum mechanics is a branch of physics that describes the behavior of particles, including photons, on a very small scale, such as atoms and subatomic particles. It is a fundamental theory that explains how particles can exhibit both wave-like and particle-like behavior. The theory of quantum mechanics states that the position and momentum of a particle cannot both be precisely known at the same time. This is known as the Heisenberg Uncertainty Principle. Quantum mechanics also explains the phenomenon of quantization of energy in atoms and molecules. The behavior of electrons in atoms, the properties of materials and the behavior of light and matter interactions. All in all, the theory of quantum mechanics provides a very successful description of the behavior of photons and other particles on a very small scale. Quantization refers to the idea that certain physical properties can only exist in certain fixed amounts or quanta. In the case of light, this means that the energy of light can only exist in certain fixed amounts, which we call photons. In classical physics, it was believed that light could have any energy and could be continuously variable. However, in the early 20th century, experiments showed that when light is emitted or absorbed by atoms, it occurs in small packets or quanta, rather than as a continuous stream. This led to the development of the theory of quantum mechanics, which describes the behavior of particles on a very small scale, including the quantization of light energy. Another very important concept from quantum mechanics is wave-particle duality, which states that all particles, including photons, can exhibit both wave-like and particle-like behavior.
The mathematical description of the behavior of photons and other particles is provided by the Schrodinger equation, which predicts the probability of finding a particle in a particular location at a particular time. The duality of a photon is the idea that a photon can exhibit both wave-like and particle-like behavior. This means that photons can sometimes act like a wave, with properties such as wavelength and frequency, and at other times act like a particle, with properties such as energy and momentum. To put it in simpler words, a photon can be thought of as a bullet of light that can be fired off and travel through space, but also as a wave of light that can oscillate and interfere with other waves. This dual behavior of photons is important in many areas of physics, including in the study of the properties of materials, the behavior of light and matter interactions, and in the development of technologies such as semiconductors and lasers. The exact cause of this behavior is not fully understood and still a subject of research and debate among physicists. However, some theories have been proposed to explain this phenomenon. Vacuum can affect the behavior of photons, and vice versa, in several ways. In a vacuum, photons travel at the speed of light, which is the highest possible speed for any type of energy or matter. The lack of matter in a vacuum means that there are no atoms or molecules to absorb or scatter the photons, allowing them to travel undisturbed. However, in a vacuum, the behavior of photons can also be affected by the presence of fields, such as electromagnetic fields. These fields can bend the path of photons, causing them to change direction. This effect is known as refraction, and it is the basis for many optical devices such as lenses and prisms. On the other hand, photons can also affect the vacuum state. For example, in quantum field theory, the vacuum state is defined as the lowest energy state of a system, and it is not truly empty, but it is filled with virtual particles of energy that are constantly popping in and out of existence. Some of these virtual particles can be photons, and they can affect the vacuum state by contributing to the vacuum energy. Additionally, in certain physical phenomena, such as the Casimir effect, the presence of two parallel uncharged metal plates in a vacuum can affect the vacuum state by altering the density of virtual photons between the plates. In a vacuum, photons travel at the speed of light, which is the highest possible speed for any type of energy or matter. Refraction In a vacuum, the behavior of photons can be affected by the presence of fields, such as electromagnetic fields. These fields can bend the path of photons, causing them to change direction. Vacuum energy Photons can also affect the vacuum state by contributing to the vacuum energy. Vacuum polarization In certain situations, such as in the presence of a strong electric field, the vacuum can be polarized, meaning that the electron-positron pairs can be created and destroyed. Hawking radiation in a vacuum, the presence of a strong gravitational field, such as that of a black hole, can affect the behavior of photons by causing them to be emitted as Hawking radiation, this is a thermal radiation that is emitted by black holes due to quantum effects near the event horizon, synchrotron radiation. In a vacuum, the behavior of photons can be affected by the presence of charged particles that are moving in a magnetic field. This effect is known as synchrotron radiation and it results in the emission of high-energy photons. In a vacuum, the behavior of photons can be affected by the presence of other photons. This effect is known as photon-to-photon -photon scattering and it results in the transfer of energy and momentum between photons. Absorption one way that a photon's behavior can be affected is through absorption, where a photon is absorbed by an atom or molecule and its energy is transferred to the atom or molecule. This process can change the state of the atom or molecule, but it does not stop the photon. Confinement 
photons can be confined in a small space using optical resonators and waveguides. Trapping Photons can be trapped in a material using various methods such as photonic crystals, microcavities, and optical fibers. This is typically achieved by using a laser beam to exert a force on the particle, and it is used in various applications such as manipulation of small particles, trapping and cooling of atoms, and trapping of living cells. Storage Photons can be stored in a material using various methods such as quantum memory, atomic ensembles, and rare earth ions.